is up guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are gonna talk about what happened at the 313 Keltweight camp. Absolute madness is what happened. A new little feature from us guys is if you guys share this video on your social medias, tag us at Liam Peacock, at Ryan Peacock. We are gonna be shouting out one lucky person in each video from now on. So share the video, tag us, and this could be you. Probably, hopefully they don't have a saggy boob as that old bitch, but whatever. <laughs> so, make sure you share the video, guys, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get underway with it, shall we? Let's do it. So, the Keltwake camp was pretty tame, wouldn't you say? They were quite a calm group of people. <laughs> Didn't really get up too much, kind of chilled out through the day and uh, in the night, just had a couple early nights, I guess. Yeah, had some decent weather as well, that was always, that was good, so. RIP trampoline. Not much happened really, did I? I mean, well, that's the end of the video then, I guess. Wait a minute. Check out what happened. We got up to so much insane stuff. So let's start out. Obviously, with any wakeboard related thing, there's going to be slams, and a lot of them. Oh, oh. Mohib, one of the boys, absolutely adamant that he wanted to kneeboard, wasn't he? He loved it on that kneeboard all day long, sending kickers, rails, you name it, Mohib was going for it. One good thing is like honestly the kneeboarding. Honestly I'd say it's better than wakeboarding. Wakeboarding's kinda overrated. With the kneeboard it actually requires skill. <laughs> 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 He tried those kickers so many times, bless him, but he didn't quite get them. But he did get the box in the end, which was good. Oh! Yeah! That was so good. He stepped down and then he cleaned off. He's gonna come round and hit this kicker straight away. <laughs> they had a few challenges that they'd come up with. One of which was body drag as a strip of bacon, for example. Stand with the handle and you just stand on the end of the dock like this. I body dragged along at the Pro Tour and then hit the safety of the thing and, and jumped off it on my belly. And <laughs> <laughs> you're going. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Oh, no. but, I mean, doesn't really make any sense. I actually was really not. surprised. She did really well, yeah, didn't she? Yeah, I didn't yeah. think she was going to make it round at all. Look yeah, at the state so of it! Oh, it's gross! We also went go-karting with the guys. That got absolutely hectic. Who do you think is the best go-kart driver out of me and Liam? Me. Of course, me. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't you in the options. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Claims to be champion. We're about to, we're about to find this out. Brings back the memories. I used to race go-karts as a kid, actually. I was, had a pretty decent career in it. They both managed to get a pretty cracking start and uh, they just left the man. A few crashes in my time as well before I decided to hang up the old helmet. I think I'm ready to get back in the seat now and uh, defeat the beast that once defeated me. <laughs> Everyone's looking like some fine dinner ladies with these bad boys on. Hello there. Yeah, eat your f***ing mash and peas, mate. <laughs> Idea who pushed who. Me and grass. Man board ended up in the grass, but <laughs> yeah. it something, was neither of our faults. Happened. The boys decided to try and take some shortcuts, and now we've got one angry Lithuanian man to deal with. <laughs> yeah. Had to pay money because we destroyed one of the go karts. All decided it'd be a good idea to drive across the grass. Turns out the Lithuanian 
Go-karting people did not like that too much. He was about as bloody impressed as the mayor was. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was not very happy. The go-karting was absolutely mad. And of course, uni students, Lithuania, bad, bad combo. Lithuania, known for its parties. Me and Ryan do like to party a little bit ourselves as well. Fair to say, it got a little bit crazy. <laughs> Absolute carnage. Yeah. Out surfing in the room. I started chasing Ryan with the uh, <laughs> with, with the razor. <laughs> there was screaming Fraser. Big shout out to Fraser, the people's champ. The truly people's was. champ. And he took the win at the contest as well. He did, yeah. Everyone absolutely killed it. Massive thank you to Keltwake and those guys for coming out and making our week in Lithuania, insane. Thank you very much guys, you all absolutely killed it. We can't wait to see you all again. Now we are home from 3 on 3. Obviously can't wait to get back out there. Had the most insane two weeks there. We have loads more content coming from there. It's all stacked up right now. And yeah, just wanted to say again, a massive shout out to those guys. You guys are awesome. We can't wait to be back and thank you for everything. See you guys in the next video. Woo!